In this short video, I will discuss the importance of barriers on the right hand side of the bow tie. Those which mitigate the effects of an incident, that is, stop things getting worse after an incident has happened. Despite all our best efforts, accidents and incidents still happen. So it's imperative that we all do what we can to ensure effective plant, process and people barriers are in place and maintained. These barriers prevent the incident escalating, minimise the potential consequences and support recovery or escape from the incident. Detection barriers include fire and gas detection systems. The earlier an issue is detected, the better chance you have of dealing with it successfully. Ensure these barriers are working as designed. If they must be inhibited, then you must ensure that the risks are considered and where necessary, alternative measures are put in place. Check that the placement of scaffolding or other temporary equipment and structures does not interfere with the detection equipment or its line of sight. Barriers which mitigate against an incident escalating include plant design, deluge systems, passive fire protection and the prevention of ignition. Things to consider. Do all temporary refuge doors close and seal properly? Is passive fire protection intact? Are you aware of any EX electrical equipment that doesn't look right or operate correctly? The emergency response barriers include emergency shutdown controls and routes to mustering areas. Where are the nearest manual alarm call points? Do you know the emergency response phone numbers? Are walkways to your muster and TR facilities clear of obstruction and passable? Do you know the alternative routes? Plant systems and processes are vitally important. However, they depend on effective leadership, task competence and clear communication to operate correctly. These plant process and people barriers work together to provide layers of defence during an emergency. You should always listen for and to emergency instructions and know how you are expected to respond in the event of an emergency. Lastly, always take time to make yourself familiar with the worksite's evacuation facilities. If the situation escalates, would you know where your escape to see facilities are located and how to use them? Having been personally involved in Piper Alpha, I learned the importance of all of the above barriers. I also experienced firsthand the consequences of when these barriers, systems and processes fail. On Piper Alpha, a lack of emergency preparedness had crept in and this resulted in myself and many of my colleagues being left with no other alternative than to jump from the platform. Don't let yourself be caught in such a situation. Remind yourself and your colleagues that you work in a high hazard industry, an industry where how you prepare and respond to incidents can be the difference between life and death. Don't leave it to chance. Take the time to become familiar with barriers on both sides of the bow tie. Be aware and be prepared to play your part. Look out for each other and yourself.